guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be sitting down and filming another full face video today. I have a giant bag of makeup here from Kmart. I tried to get, so they stock Rimmel there and Elf and stuff, but they also have their own brand. Honestly, some of their makeup is so affordable. Like I bought a full face of stuff, primer, setting spray, everything, and it was about $80. So anyway, as we go, I'll write the prices on screen. These are from Exo Beauty, they are so cute. The lighting is really good right now, like it's not too harsh. Um, we actually, okay, I'll start doing my makeup and then I'll chat to you guys about life updates. So this is the BYS Pearl Extract Primer. So it looks like face primer. This one was a little more pricey than like say this brand, this OXX Cosmetics. Their stuff was like super cheap. Yeah, this one was $12, but I really wanted to try it because I feel like it might be a good dupe for the Guerlain makeup. Hopefully it's hydrating because my skin is on dry side. Oh, it says with hydrating pearls. But yes, if you're noticing I'm in a different area, you probably are because it kind of looks like where I used to film. Two of my flatmates are actually moving out right now. So yeah, I've reset up my office in the front room. And I feel like the lighting's actually really good. I've not got any studio lights on today. This is just by the windows. So we also got in two more people, but they haven't moved in yet. So we had to like go through the interviewing process, listing the room on train me and everything. We were so scared we wouldn't find like normal people, but the couple we've got moving in seem really nice. I'm excited for them to move in, but yeah, there's been lots of noise around the house lately. Like obviously people moving furniture. And so I've been like dying to film, but it's just been too hectic. Like, unfortunately I'm not money bags enough to have my own house or anything like that. I do rent, so I have to like, you know, wait till things quieten down a bit. First impressions on the primer, feels low-key average. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. It's really thin, so I don't know if you guys can see, but when I squirt it out, it's basically, <laughs> this looks low-key revolting. It's basically clear. It feels like as thin as a silicon primer, if you know what I mean. It's not like a thick moisturizing primer, but it doesn't have that plasticky silicony feel. It kind of just feels like, I don't know how to explain it, maybe like a serum, but not as slippery and hydrating. It's just like, there but it's not really like sunken in i don't know maybe my makeup will apply really nice on it um but low-key disappointed like it's not as cool as i thought it would be maybe if you were more on the oily side it would be nice because it's not super hydrating okay this one is like a stab in the dark this next foundation product so this brand oxx they also had a more bougie line within their brand this one oxx studio this is like a cheek shimmer palette that i'll try later there you go it's like marbled and the brush low-key looks nice this is four dollars literally one foundation from like mecca or sephora in new zealand is like 60 to 80 dollars which is the price of this whole face of makeup so whilst i'm not expecting amazing results from every single product i think even if we can find just a couple of gems in here how good would that be you know if you're on a budget because makeup can get really expensive but at the same time i feel like most employers low-key expect you to wear makeup to work like to look presentable and it can get very expensive so i just wanted to try out these products this was the lightest shade this is ivory luckily i have a slight natural tan right now like it's gonna be a stretch even for me if you're like porcelain colored i think you'll be out of luck with at least this cheaper range this pump just strikes me as volatile i'm scared it's gonna just like spray out everywhere okay honestly the consistency is nice it feels like my giorgio armani foundation I feel like i should setting spray first to give me a fighting chance Damn it, I shouldn't have used this. Sorry, just pretend I didn't do that because I also got this setting spray, but this one's mattifying. It's all they have. It's definitely not what my skin needs. Not me just standing here with foundation trickling down my finger, like, can you do something? Okay, I'm just gonna apply it with this Sephora Featherweight Complexion Brush. I'm actually so used to applying my base with my fingers. Whoa, like if this doesn't oxidize, this is a perfect color. My skin is drinking in the product though, which is not great. I know because it's so dry, that primer didn't really hydrate it enough. And by the way, I'm doing, this is like one pump and I'm just spreading it into like different spots on my face. Um, is that the curry? Cause I don't have pants on. No, this is terrifying. <laughs> not me answering the door with no pants on. Yay, this is exciting. This is a necklace I ordered. I'm so excited. We can open it at the end of the haul. I mean, the makeup tutorial. <laughs> I'll show you guys because it's so cute. Oh no, now this is like set. <laughs> Why? Just look at the foundation. I would actually be happy to wear this out. Like it looks all good. 
I think with some setting spray too and some concealer it would be really nice. So far so good. I am a little concerned though for this next step. I got this OXX Bloom. So I don't know if this is another offshoot of the OXX Legacy. You know how there's studio and there's just some plain. This was the only concealer I could find. The Kmart I went to was kind of cleared out. So some stuff I did struggle with. This was the only concealer they had. And this is the shade 5.2 Tan. <laughs> I don't know, I just figured I would at least try for the video to buy this, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be okay for under my eyes. I also got these contouring sticks. Holding hopes out for this dark one because I need a good cream contour color. These are the worst when you're in a hurry. It's like you just go ham on them and then all of a sudden it just erupts out. Oh, okay, should we do an experiment? I think for one side, I should try cream contouring with this contouring stick. And then for the other side, let's try using that concealer because that's literally a contour shade on me. Here is the setting spray. It was $7. I prefer this one because it's a continuous. <gasps> oh my gosh, not the concealer falling off and going onto everything. I feel like the particles are pretty similar though. Like, they're actually nice. They're not super chunky like some I've tried. On this side, let's do the concealer. This could be a nice option if you do struggle with acne which fully feel you because I used to as well and I had to go on Accutane. But this would provide a bit of extra coverage as you're getting that bronze to your face. You know, like sometimes putting on a cream bronzer can move the products around, but at least because this is a concealer, you could maintain that coverage while putting a bronzer on. It's just nice to have alternatives for people. Some people do want that coverage. This Loki looks really nice. All right, on the other side, I'm gonna try the contouring stick. I guess I'll just draw it on like this. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a lot thicker. So if you have deeper skin, this is not gonna do anything for you. Great though. For my fair skinned girls, let me do you a little swatch here. See how the tone is not super orange, like it's enough for warmth. I think we've found something good. From Kmart, all my fair skinned girls know how hard it is to get a cream bronzer that does not lean too orange. This kind of makeup wasn't around when I was in high school and was working off my countdown celery. Don't get me wrong, I love like Maybelline and all those like more supermarket vibes brands. But in high school, that was like the cheapest option we had to buy, you know, and it's still like 20 something bucks, like 30 bucks for a mascara and that kind of thing. And the fact that these are all like a couple of dollars, like this is four dollars, is so cool. It makes me really happy. Like honestly, this looks better than my everyday makeup. So I just usually wear BB cream, like this is better coverage. So I got this Cosmic palette. It says blush, bronzer, and shimmer compact, and it's from that OXX Studio brand. I think I'm gonna layer some of this cream highlight stick before I put these on. This will be a really good test, especially over quite a matte base, because I feel like sometimes these can move your makeup, because they're quite like oily, do you know what I mean? Those highlight sticks. I loved the tone of this bronzer, like that's what caught my eye. Because they had other blushes there, but I thought, oh, that is a good contour color for paler people. And then I love marbled products like this, like Makeup Revolution do them. And then obviously like Hourglass and more bougie brands. By the way, you guys should write in the comments, let me know what brands I should do next. I wanted to do an affordable one. So like that's why I'm doing Kmart now. But I reckon Sephora and stuff could be cool. But yeah, you guys let me know. Also, I'm going to do more thrifting videos because... Literally thrifting is my life and I don't film it, but every week I'm thrifting and like Doing crafty stuff like I learned to cross stitch last week It's just a big part of my life I don't really show on my channel, but I've been seeing it all the time on TikTok and I'm like, why don't I film this more? Like I'm so into op shopping. Okay, this is nice It's just giving a sheen like if you guys can see that which honestly my skin needed because it was so dry But yeah, it's good easy to work with nothing phenomenal but also didn't go crusty and like have big yucky shimmer chunks on my face. It just looks like light hitting your face. I like, because they like natural makeup. So it just depends what you're into, but I like that. Let's go in. Actually, I'll do the little like contour shade first. Let's just take it with this brush. I'm actually so excited to try this. Okay, I'm using the little brush it came with and the powder. And I have a habit of always dragging my temple bronzer into my crease, but I think it looks good. So come at me, bro. <laughs> Not that anyone would care about that. Okay, nice. I'm sorry I don't want to put, in, put on too much because I really like the bronzer already, but like if I do a splotch like that, you can see there is pigment. It's just like the perfect color, so you can't really see it hectically, but that's nice. And it's not like a grabby 
powder. I never used to contour my jaw, but now I do, and it makes a big difference in photos. Like, I highly recommend it. So I was always scared it would look like I'd have a foundation line. Like, I just didn't really know what I was doing, but it does look good, guys. Highly recommend. Oh, no. Not be opening the window, and then someone starts mowing their lawn. Okay, I promise I'm just going to have it open while we do blush because I'm getting really hot. And when I get hot, I get cranky. <laughs> Is anyone else the same? So I just want to open it while I do my blush, but sorry if you guys can hear that. So I'm going to take this one here. This is my Exo Beauty Vegan Sheer Powder Brush. Let's just like go over like that. I honestly don't know. This might be a highlight. I should probably swatch it first. Oh yeah, it kind of is low key. So that's the pinky one and that's the like high points of your face one. This just pops your cheek. Like look at that. I don't know if I'm just using the frost on top maybe, but it's not coming off very pink. It's just like giving me dimension so I would say this is more like a contour highlight palette I was more hoping that it would be like a blush color but it's all good I've got some dimension to my cheeks anyway from that bronzer <laughs> do you like I'm doing a mini review for each product like I feel like most people just wait till the end and say what they like and just like but like I can't do that because I'm just too hyped I just want to talk about it right away and also I don't want to forget anything at the end also, this is like a joke that I even got this because my face is so matte. But I got the face oil control powder. I just thought I should buy a powder as well. Um, but I shouldn't have because I literally got matte setting spray and like a matte foundation. <laughs> I'm glad I at least got the like translucent color because there was like a banana one. I don't know if it says the color. It literally doesn't. But you could just see the packets like what the colors were so almost four dollars as well if you guys are wondering if you guys didn't know these loose translucent powders are great for if you're doing a more glam dramatic makeup look and you want to bake which is where you like really press in powder to your concealer to set it down as a lighter color and to hold it in place and then you like dust it off later and do like a setting spray or if you are on the oilier side these are great for like your t-zone and stuff because they don't add coverage and color as you're retouching throughout the day this is a fail i actually can't figure out how to open it i can't open it for the life of me it's like way too this color is very warm compared to my eyebrows <laughs> It's like a chestnut mahogany color. Don't put that much brow pencil in my brows these days anyway. Because I kind of prefer them as light as I can get them. Like they're always going to be thick, but I feel like I went through a block eyebrow phase where it was just like really dramatic. Yeah, that's all good. Not too bad. These are my eye products that I got. I might try some of these colors down here, or like this ready one. I've just realized they're all shimmery, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to take this taupey one i guess this is gonna be a shimmery look this is actually coming off quite nice in the crease it's not really that shimmery also my camera battery you guys know this is a new camera it keeps dying so i was gonna try and do a really cool eyeshadow look but now i think i won't because <laughs> i've already had to stop and recharge my battery once and i don't want the light to fade and stuff like i want you guys to be able to see properly so i think for this look i'm gonna do something quite natural Hopefully that's all good. And then on the lid, I might actually wet one of these shades. What are we thinking? Maybe like this coppery one. I feel like that's really pretty. I'm just gonna like, it went literally in my eye. I'm spray my Hogwarts brush. This is from the Warner Brothers Harry Potter collection. It's low-key really good. I love their brushes. And I saw Anna Lee likes them too from Makeup by Anna Lee. Actually legit, like go off the warehouse. So should I like wet my lid? No, I'm just gonna go in so nice okay definitely if you buy these make sure you wet them with like fix plus or that was literally just the kmart setting spray and look how pigmented that is i'm really vibing like vampy looks lately i did burgundy eyeshadow for halloween because we went as the people of vampire diaries and ever since then i've been really into like coppery red eyeshadows so i've got green eyes i just think it looks really nice i mean it's kind of like ott <laughs> Like I'll literally probably go to the supermarket today, but you know. Also, I'm feeling really cool and grungy at the moment because I got my second ear piercing done. <laughs> it's literally two, like not hardcore at all, but I got them done at the mall. And they're healing pretty good. I can't wait till I can change them out and put cute little hoops in. But it's longer than I thought. I think she said like seven or eight weeks you have to wait because I got a needle, got it done with a needle. My other one was with a gun. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've made like a Pinterest board of earrings I want. That's how excited I am. You know those vibes and you've just been wanting something for so long and then you finally do it. Also, I knew I had to get it done soon because I want to donate blood again. 
but you have to wait like three months I think after getting a tattoo or piercing to donate. I need to get my brows waxed though. Sometimes my crease color looks patchy because of all the like blonde hairs I get under my eyebrow. Kind of gross, but like, is anyone else the same? Like it just kind of grabs to them and it's not super smooth. Like my eyeshadow blends like a dream after a fresh brow wax. Oh my gosh, this is so much more payment than I expected. Oh no. Like that's good though. That's such a good highlight shade for paler people. Cause you normally try doing an inner corner highlight and like nothing even comes off. That happens to me all the time. This one is like legit. Should we like pat it in? Oh, like look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. OXX Studios, the new it brand. I just zoomed in so you guys can see a little better. I'm trying out the eyeliner pencil, but it's not really coming off that good. Like on my hand, I thought it would be really creamy because it just comes off, although it's not super black, but still like I thought it'd be a little bit better, but this is the most color payoff I can get. And if you can see, it kind of like just drags my eye, like, I don't know. I can't get it any darker than that. So I'm glad I bought that e.l.f. liner. So yeah, I don't really rate this, but I guess it's fine if you just like want something cheap and you might be after a more duller black color. So it's just like personal preference, I guess. Give the e.l.f. liquid liner a go. Also, I, I had to go charge my battery again. It's been a good few hours now and this foundation has worn so well. It's slightly gone into my smile line. If you can see that, but like barely. I've had other foundations do it so much worse. And my flatmate was just saying how perfect this color is for me. Like it's a, literally my perfect color. So four dollars. I'm just in shock. One thing I will say about these brush ones is it's really easy to follow the shape of your eye. Like if you're doing calligraphy, how it like kind of curves the brush. Like I don't know, it just like you have to have a steady hand for it, but if you nail it, it looks really good. That is a nice wing, if I do say so myself. Natural and easy. I do remember Shan used to love this back in the day, and I used to take her recommendations like gospel. It was so cute yesterday. We went to her final dress fitting for her like wedding, and I'm so excited. Wait, do you guys see? First fitting, I cried. Well, I'm enjoying this eyeliner so much more than I thought I would. It's really easy to get a skinny line like a continuous line and it's just so black next we have mascara this one's from bys and do you remember when they used to stock this brand in glassons like does anyone remember that i remember they used to have fluoro nail polishes and stuff they stopped it at kmart which is super random i just thought it like stopped being made but apparently not so their stuff was a little bit more pricey than the kmart stuff that's what the brush looks like i went for it because it looked plasticky like it's not as good as my Givenchy one, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. But that's just one quick coat. That's pretty good, to be honest. And I like when the brush is kind of curved like that. I feel like it fits your eye really good. So that's one coat there. Now to do a second. I actually like it. Like I'll probably use this tube up. And I'm quite fussy with the mascara. This reminds me a bit of the Benefit Roller Lash. If you guys can see, it's curling really well. I have also been using Revital Lash again. And so I feel like that definitely does help. Whoa, that looks really good. This is curling though, this formula, because I tried a new one the other day and I didn't like it. It's basically done three layers now and it is starting to look a little bit clumpy. So I'll stop there, but that's good though that it lasted that long because sometimes you can't layer at all. Look at that. And with this eye, like this eyeliner, and I'm honestly shook. Like, guys, this is even my friend just said this does not look like Kmart, a full face of Kmart makeup. Like, I feel like I look like I've been to MAC or something. Okay, let's see how it looks for lower lashes. Okay, it's like kind of clumpy, it just went spidery in the middle. I prefer a lighter product on the lower lashes but like it's not too bad probably better once it dried out a bit honestly very nice like that is nice and black that formula too it's like goes with the eyeliner okay finally we have lips these are both from the super affordable OXX range but this one is from the studio one because I couldn't find any colors that weren't like 
pearlescent or just like a really gross color that were at least left in the store I went to. I went to the Albany Kmart, if you guys are wondering. It's the shade Rachel. Shout out to Rachel Brooke. <laughs> if you ever watch this video, it's my friend from Australia. You guys will know if you follow my Instagram and stuff. Actually, I think I did vlogs with her last year, but yeah, I missed her. I Skyped her the other day. Although her name is not spelled like this. She has a quirky spelling. Stuff is so annoying to get out of the packaging. Should have brought scissors over with me. The lip liner pencil is the shade Chevrolet. Again, it was like the only one I could find, but it looks all good, like if I swatch it. It's just like a nice movie pinky color. I just like to fill in my lips a tiny bit with the liner. I think it helps with longevity. Nice formula though. Not too creamy that it like settles into little dimples and ridges on your lips, but it also doesn't tug. It's just like a good in between. Honestly impressive, like if this was from MAC, I wouldn't question it. Well, I'm actually so blown away by this makeup look. Okay, this is the lips. Oh, I feel like it's kind of too pink. I might just mix it in with a bit of balm um, because this whole look just looks expensive. And so nice, and I feel like if I do too pink of a lip, it's just gonna like make it look more tacky. So, just add in a little bit of this. Okay, oh man, it's still too pink. I don't like how pink it is, but I kinda have to roll with it because that's the only lip color I got. I'm so blown away. This foundation has worn beautifully. I've had it on for about four hours now because I kept having to stop and start filming which is like not ideal, but I did in my spare time buy a camera battery. The lips, is that like bronzer color? Everything's so nice. So yeah guys, it's basically the video. Thank you for sitting down with me today and joining in, tuning in. I love doing this full face series. Hopefully it's useful to those of you that are on a budget right now. Makeup is so expensive and especially with how 2020 went, people aren't wanting to spend a whole lot on cosmetics right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.